So this will be a little bit review, okay? So we were talking about last time about three forms of uh, present tense verbs, right? So we said that present tense verb is, it it actually defines, right? It, it, it changes its case, just like uh, nouns, it also has its case, it states. Only thing I wanted to mention is, although we are saying marfu in Arabic, same word for the nouns and the verbs, it looks like uh, in English, translating marfu as a nominative for the verb, it probably doesn't make sense. I was thinking about that, but then I looked at the book after uh, the, the lecture last time and looks like uh, they are using a different word. Honestly, even those words probably is not gonna make any sense, right? Like uh, they say something about indicative, okay? For this one, subjunctive. And this one is we talked about Joseph. Really, and then I, I did a little bit research on what do they do in English grammar. You know, that even doesn't make sense what we're doing with Arabic language, our Arabic grammar, okay? So they just kind of trying to find, you know, English word for these grammar states. You know, some of them make sense, some of them doesn't make sense. So, you know, so I'm not too, you know, I'll just probably write it down for you guys, but, you know, if it's, they will say indicative, whatever that is. Honestly, this word, I, I didn't even see in other, your book has this one, subjunctive, okay? And then you have Joseph, right? Better thing to do is what, guys? Just say marfu, mansub, and majizum, okay? It's something that I just wanted to mention if you go into the book and you see these names and you're probably bothering you. So that's, that's it, okay? Any question from here? All right, now, so last time we gave a few examples of what does it mean to be a mansub state for the present tense verb, and what does it mean for a present tense verb to be a majizum, all right? So basically, you can think of that mansub should be fatah, just like in the noun. In the noun we have mansub is also fatah, right? And majuzum should be in sukun, and, and and we said we don't have this case in in the uh, uh, noun. So marfu is yadhabu, yadhaba, yadhab, tadhabu, tadhaba, tadhab, adhabu, adhaba, adhab. Okay. So what what are we changing? We're changing uh, the uh, the ending. So let me do a little bit review. So this will be a little bit important today, today's talk. So I want to make sure I will ask you guys to give me the ending. Otherwise, uh, it might be a little bit confusing to follow through. For example, Kataba uh, Yaktubu. So how, how do you say I am writing? Yeah, Tubu. Aktubu, okay. So we have Aktubu. Yaktubu and I say I'm writing Aktubu. So what have we done? Nothing, only we're changing this uh, Hamza. But what we're interested in is that it has a Dhamma. That is what we're talking about right now. We have done this verb conjugation. That's not what we're trying to find out today. Today, we want to see what is the state of this verb. This one is in marfu because the marfu state is, uh, the um, sign is what? Dhamma. So remember last time we mentioned one particle that has impact on the verb and when it shows up, it changes the verb into mansu, which is lan. What does lan mean? Who remembers? What is lan? Inna is for Good, uh, very good that you, learn is not, okay, learn is not, learn is not, yes, not in the future, in future. Good, you mentioned, inna is, is a particle that makes mansub, absolutely right. But the thing you have to remember that inna only comes in nominative sentence. So meaning the inna is a particle that makes a noun into mansub, not a verb. 
Okay, so inna is for the noun. Okay, so when it's inna Allah, so Allah, uh, Jalala is Allah is a noun, right? So that's uh, that's how we use inna. And but inna cannot come in the present and verb. Like so, the lan cannot come to the uh, noun, you know, uh, nominative sentence. All right. So it's something that inshallah uh, we have to keep in mind. Now, so lan is not in the future. So how do I say I will not write? I will not write. Lan what? Lan. Lan. Aktuba. Ak. Tu. Ba. That's the, that's the only thing. It's this concept shouldn't be too foreign for you that you know we have to change the ending you know because we know that the arab we have to change but only thing we didn't know we had to do the same thing for the verbs but we know only for the present tense verb this is something is extremely important right we have to do this the whole arab comes back so we say lan ak tu ba make sense now so what did we say now we want to say she will not write hmm. she will not write I'll do a few of them, then I'll ask you once in a while. So we said, Lan, what? Lan, how do you say she will not write? Remember, guys? Tak, Tuba. Sorry, not, yeah. Tak, Tuba. Now, if you recall this stuff, it's, you know, it's the same for you, you as. Uh, masculine and also she, right? It's something that we, we already know. It's not a big deal. And the issue is we have what? We have a fata. Why do we have fata? Because it is a mansub state. Why is it a mansub state? Because something has entered into this word that makes it mansub. What is that word? The word is lan. So you have to know these words. I'll give you all, uh, some of the most uh, common one uh, which, which makes this kind of kinds of impact. Okay. Now this one I need you guys to tell me. I'm probably forgot. How do you say you as a female? This one. You as a female. Anti. You will not write. Learn what? Learn that to be. Yes, but there it should be tak to bina because how do we write here? We say tak, we say tak to bina. Tak to bina. Tak to bina means you are writing. You know, I'm talking to a female. You are writing. So if I want to say you will not write, and yes, absolutely, as she pointed out, you say tak to be. To, um, to be. So what have we done? We dropped the noon. If you can, because if I remove this one, the whole thing after I take it. So basically, you drop the noon. So missing noon. The noon is gone. And this is our indication. What? This is the indication that this verb is in a mansub state. They will call it in Arabic hathfun noon. Hathfun noon is the indication that this verb is in the mansub state. Excellent. So if it looks like you guys are a little bit showing me off here, I'll give you one, one more. So how do you say you are, you all, the plural, you all are writing? Tak tu buna, right? Tak tu buna. Remember this wow and noon? Tak tu buna. So you all, you all plural are writing. So how would we say you will not write? You all will not write. Learn what? Learn tak to bu. Okay, learn tak to bu. So bu with wow, right? Tak tak to bu. Yes. Tak to bu. So what, what we're doing, we're removing this noon. 
we're simply removing this node. And we said, you know, remember, we're, uh, we need this, as Brother Corinne pointed out last time, uh, the gatekeeper, you know. So we say, lan taktubu, okay? Lan taktubu, we're removing this node. And removing of this node is what is the state of, uh, this is how we indicate that this is in the state of Mansub. Otherwise, we simply can Because look, the fata is already there. You know, taktubuna, you know, it's already in the, uh, there's already fatha and we are saying that it is in the uh, marfu state. So how do you, how do we make it into uh, mansub? We simply remove this noon and then, uh, and then of course, you know, this Alif, don't worry too much about this one. This one is a little bit more clear. Taktubina, okay, we just simply remove this with noon and we left with taktubi. That's it. That's all we mentioned last time, right? Now, this is why I'm repeating this whole lesson today is because of this one. Sorry, uh, guys, uh, I think this one should be in this other lane. Hold on. This one should be in this lane, right? You know, he's going to the wrong lane. Okay, this is something that we have to pay a little bit attention. So this is Antunna. How do you say you female? You know, maybe I should do Hunna because you know you is super confusing in English language. When you say you, you have no idea we've been dealing with you too much. Let me do Hunna. They female are writing. How do you say in in, in the present tense marfo? They female are writing. Yak Tubna, yes. Who wrote this? Brother Karim. Yes, you saved me. So, Yak Tubna. I'm oh, sorry. Yak Yak Tubna. Yes, yes, Yak Tubna. Remember, we had a long discussion, like we didn't want to see this Ya with the She because we thought it has to do with, you know, all this discussion, right? Good. And also, how do we say Antunna? that you all are writing. So somebody can help me this one. So we say hunna yaktubna. How do we, how do we say antunna, what? Taktubna, yes. So only difference is this first part, that's it. Ya is for they and taktubna. Taktubna. I've been telling you for longest time, as I remember, that this noon is, what did I say? Who can tell me? What always I to, every time I write this noon, I always mention that this noon is what? I always said this is a strong noon. And this is, a, a, they call it noon niswa, noon for the feminine. And this is one of the strongest noon. And why I always keep on telling you this is one of the strongest noon is, you're all about to find out, when you say that they will not do female and when you say they will not do learn you cannot under any circumstance touch this node so it will never drop okay so that's why this strong noon is coming from same thing goes for antunna which would be what what would how would you say antunna lan you want to say you will not do as a group of uh, female you will say lan Tak, uh, I'm talking about writing. Tak tubna. Hmm. This one is not moving. The other one, other one, gone. This one is gone, but this one is looks like it's not going anywhere. This noon, the noon of Niswa, which belongs to Hunna, Hunna and Antunna, it will never change. Okay, these are very strong noon. So you say lan yaktubna. Where I'm writing ta here? Uh, it should be sorry. It should be dhamma here. Lan yaktubna and lan taktubna. We cannot drop this noon. Now um, the way the grammar books they will uh, mention something that so which one changes? They will say the af alul khamsa af alul uh, you can I can say alif lam af'alul khamsa. 
So what is afalul khamsa means? It means five verbs. It means five verbs. The five verbs. The five verbs. Okay, which are the five verbs, right? So when, when you hear this term afalul khamsa, it's talking about five verbs that has, in the present tense, has a noon at the end. So which, which ones? Uh, let me see how many I can get it from here. I don't wanna, I'm being a little lazy typing it. Anyway, uh, I'll give you some of them. For example, um, uh, I'll do the fill. Yaf aluna. Okay, yaf aluna. Yaf alani. Okay, then you have a taf aluna, taf aluna. Then you have taf alani. And the last one is taf alina. You don't have to, I don't know, it's, it's good, very good to know this thing because uh, the reason why they put this thing uh, in a separate category, because if you just know this much, your grammar, especially with the present tense verb, your life will be extremely simple. But remember, there are other nouns here, like you know, yaf alna. So which one we're not writing? Yaf alna. Taf alna or yaf alna? I'm putting both of them in the same place. This one is what? For, remember, hunna and whom, uh, antunna. This is the strongest noun. So they're not writing those things in here, even though it has a noun. So why? Because now it is extremely easy for, yes, it is very easy for you to say that, how? The afalul khamsa, you just remove the noon. See, it's now very easy. You don't have to write, you don't have to say, you know, yafaluna, you remove the noon from the yafaluna. You don't have to go all that far. You can just say, in order to make something mansub, you know, you put uh, put fatha, or you drop the noon from afalul khamsa. So you drop the noon from uh, these five ver verbs. So now if it's, yeah, uh, so instead of yafaluna, if it's tafaluna, okay, you drop the noon. Uh, if it was yakrauna, again, you have the una, it's one of the five verbs, you drop the noon, okay? Anyway, it's something that you can play around with this. Uh, so, but uh, only thing I'm trying to explain to you here, uh, you have to be careful with the hunna and antunna, they are fixed, they are mabni, they will never change. Yes, 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 yes. Any question from here? So I'll give you some of the, uh, some of the words that you need to know. Learn, we already talked about. The most used, extremely important one in this mansu, like this is, is your an. That is the one that you probably see 90% of the time when something makes it into mansu. An. So what does an mean? An is basically saying like two, two or that. Not two in a form and, and two, that, not that kind of two. Like, you know, I am doing something to help that too. I am doing something to listen, you know? So it can also be translated as that, like I'm doing something for that. You know, this kind of, uh, I'll give you a lot of example, right? So this is very important, right? So you have a lan, you have an, and you will sometimes once in a while you, you'll see kai. Uh, Okay, right, which is uh, in order to, in order to. For example, uh, for example, I, how did you say I'm learning Arabic language to understand the Quran? Kai. Kai what? Kai afhamal Quran. So here you're gonna say, af, how do you say I understand? Afhamu. The word is afhamu. Afhamu. But you say kai, in order, now what do you do? You remove the afhamu and you, do, and you put fata, afhama, kai afhama. In order that I understand, kai afhama, uh, Quran al karim You know, I'll give you a lot of example. I'm just writing uh, these words down for you. And now the, there's a other ones, I'm not going to mention all of them because uh, you know, for you to understand how they are used, it's a little bit uh, uh, advanced. But there's another one you will see, lam with kasra, li. Hmm. We have seen this li before. Where did we see Lee? 
Hmm. What does Lee mean? Hmm? I think uh, we've seen this one a lot. Four, yes. So this is what kind of, uh, what, is, what do we call this? What do you call Lee? We, we call Lee this preposition, right? Yes, jar, it's even better. Uh, preposition jar, right? And we said this one, uh, is, you know, it has a lot of different meanings, one of these four. But there's one rule that, you know, it's a, you know, simple, but it's still a uh, rule still applies that harmful jar usually doesn't come in a verb. But you will see the same word that I say in kai, you can replace kai with uh, li. You can say kai af, li af hama. Li af hama. Li af hama. So that I understand. When you say li af hama, that means so that I understand. When you say li, you cannot say uh, li af hama. But what I'm trying to say, this li is actually the way it's working that this li is using this un. This lam, uh, this, uh, this harmful jar cannot come just by itself. So basically it's similar to saying li an for that, you know, that, that, for that, uh, you know, so anyway, but what I'm trying to say, when you say li, you can sometimes see with li an, or most of the time you will see there's no an, you will just see as a li. Okay, so don't get confused. A lot of people get confused. I used to get confused in the beginning because we studied that Li doesn't come, you know, it's, it's one of the harmful jar, only comes in the nouns, what's going on? Why is it coming here? And then when in the noun, what does Li does, huh? Li Muhammadan? No, Li Muhammadin, okay? So in the noun, Li comes and makes everything into uh, Kasra and here it's making, so it's a little bit confusing. So just think about this Li is actually, there's a hidden an. And an you have to know. An is something that makes it mansub. All right. These are the only four things I think you probably should know. And there's other ones. Uh, don't worry too much about them. So quickly, uh, I want to mention uh, here with the majizum, there's nothing to know because what did we say? What did we say about uh, majizum? The one that doesn't have anything in the ending, for example, aktabu, how do you say lam? What does lam mean? Is there, this should be a little bit review. That's why I'm trying to go a little bit faster. Did not. Yes, did not. Did not. So I want to say, I did not write. How do I say it? I did not write. I'm saying, aktubu, I'm writing. Lan aktubu, lan aktuba. See, mistake. Lan aktuba, I will not write. How do I say, I did not write? Lam what? Lam what? Aktub, yes. Lam aktub. Aktub, boom. You get your sukun. So what's the difference? Same old difference that we've been seeing. Dhamma, fata, instead of kastra, we have sukun. Aktubu, lan aktuba, lam aktub. He did not write. Very simple. Lam yaktub. Yak, if I can just write faster. Yak tu sukun. Okay, why am I putting sukun? Because you have a letter, you have a harf, you have a particle that makes the word, the verb after that into majizum. So when lam comes, you have to make your verb into majizum. How do we make a majizum? You make it with sukun. How do we make it into mansub? You make it with fatha, just like how we used to do before. Now the question comes, brother, we have all these things here. How do we deal with this one? Uh, for example, anti taktubina, we said, you are writing to a female person. And we said, we said, lan, how do we say, you will not write, you will not write, lan taktubi, we simply drop, we simply drop the noon. And we mentioned how, how would we say she did not write Hmm? She did not write how? How do you say she did not? Same, exactly. It's exactly the same. So you say, duck to B. Same in sense what? Same as the mansub state. Okay, you understand? The way you make this verb, and again, which verb? See, that's why it's very easy to say. If you knew what al-afalul khamsa means, 
then only thing I have to say, the al-afawlul khamsa, how do you make it to mansub? You remove the noon. So for afawlul khamsa, how do we make something into, uh, into majuzum? All I have to say is remove the noon. So any of these verbs from the afawlul khamsa, now whether you have yaf, you know, yaktubani, taktubani, tafalina, tafaluna, yafaluna, all of them, you will do exactly the same thing from these two. No difference. Okay, I'll give you another one. For example, how would you say uh, you did not write as a plural lam tak tubu? But it's exactly the same thing as what we have here. So lam tak tubu and lam tak tubu, exactly the same. Yes, it is exactly the same. And we give you an, an analogy. Remember when you say uh, kitabani in the nouns, two books. How do we put it into mansub and majrur? We say kitabaini for both of them. It's the same ruling here. So it should make our life, trust me, in here it does make life a lot, lot easier. You have no idea how much life is easier because you have to deal with this lam and lan a lot. In the present tense verb, these things come a lot, especially in the Quran, it's coming all the time. So if you had to know another rule, that would have been a little bit uh, uh, hassle. Okay, now my last question here what's gonna happen how would you say they to female they didn't write hmm? we want to say they write means yaktubna they will not write was yaktubna and how we say they did not write hmm? same again brother Karim is copying. Yes, Lam Yaktubna. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. It is the same. Why? Because the same thing, the noon, the strong noon. This noon, noon of Niswa, noon of Niswa is a strong noon. You cannot touch, you cannot do anything with this. These are this verb is Mabni. Okay, this this noon is Mabni fix. Yes, no need to fix. So it, it will be the same case for Antunna. All right. So what we've seen so far, it looks like other than, you know, the simple verbs that we have like Adhabu, Tadhabu, Nadhabu, you know, Yadhabu, everything else is exactly the same for the, uh, you know, the Mansub and Majizum. You understand? Everything is same. So only thing is different is that you will see that uh, particles coming. Which particle coming? That will tell you whether or not the word, the verb is mansub state or the majizum state. If the lamp particle comes, you better say that this verb is, doesn't matter whether it looks exactly the same or not, you still have to say this verb is in the uh, majizum state. When the lamp comes, that means this verb is in the mansub state, right? Yeah. Yes, noon of niswa is only plural, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Then you have another one, ta ta neith, which is like the uh, habat. That is for the singular. Okay. Just think of, uh, uh, yes, uh, I would like you guys to use these terms. You know, it's really, you know, you're learning Arabic here, right? So, nun of niswa, ta ta neith. Then you have, especially learn this one. This one, I think it will help you with so many ways. You know, the al afalul khamsa, the five, they call it the five verbs. The five verbs, right? So just think of all the <clears throat> all the verbs in the present tense that has noon. And except, of course, you know that that strong noon, I've been telling you all so many times, that except for the strong noon, all the other noons is called afalul khamsa. And how do you deal with them? Is that's very, you know, once you know, it's very easy. You just drop the uh, noon from the last, uh, uh, last letter, okay?